John Acklesane for Boating New Zealand magazine. Today we're over the Whakatane Bar at Whale Island with Legacy Marines L70. It's their flagship vessel manufactured in Whakatane from aluminium. It's beautiful. Come and join us. I'm sitting with Todd Shaw from Legacy Marine. Todd, this vessel, this beautiful vessel in Legacy Marine, there is something of a vision that your family's had for many years. Can you tell us about some of the genesis of this particular yes. boat and the, and the company itself? So we've been building aluminium boats now for about 25 years. Started off as a, as a one-man band. Mm -hmm. um, worked our way through that trailer boat market, sort of producing around 300 a year, but it was always a dream. We've sort of had these bigger boats, done a bit of traveling around, overseas and stuff now so it was always a dream to do that stuff in our own boat and seven years ago we started the design of this. You've had quite a lot of experience with offshore offshore fishing and offshore um, voyaging in boats of your own. How did that sort of translate to, to this boat and this design? Yeah well, just learning off the other boats and you know all the fishing we've done it sort of it drove a lot of the specs it, it's definitely based around fishing this boat with mm -hmm. you know we've got interior comfort that's super yacht quality but we sort of still wanted to keep that fishing essence about it so um, yeah it definitely has driven what we're doing. Yes mm. uh, it strikes me you know walking around the boat you've, you've kept things like you know the hard surfaces on the floors you've, you, it's a quite a practical boat in that sense but with all of the, the comfort that you might yeah. want yeah. you know. Um, now given that it's not that usual for a boat of this size to be built in aluminium in New Zealand, certainly not a recreational boat. Tell me about what your thinking, what your thinking is along those lines. Where's the company going with this? Um, well, we've, we've developed a range of six models of uh, in this legacy range, starting at 35 up to 70 foot. Right. So um, we're, we're well underway. This is the first of our luxury sport fishing boats. We've followed that with a 35 footer now, and we've got another two. Um, and build at the moment. We've okay. got a progression of 50 footers um, coming up in the next couple of years as well. So within sort of the next two years, we're going to nearly have the whole range out there for people to see and see how they go. And these are not custom boats, are they? No, no, all production. So the 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 whole mindset with the design, we've spent a lot of time in the design, making them quick and efficient to build. Yeah, we can see some real efficiencies coming up. You know, the guys are getting used to. Uh, working off these designers plans and how it all works and we're sort of creating a bit of an inventory of things like rod holders and logos oh, right. and bits and pieces and stuff like that so now all that hard work's been done we've just got to overlap that into the other designs now. Well I have to say if this boat is, is any uh, you know, any example of what's what's to come um, you know the New Zealand boating public's in for a real treat and we wish you all the best with uh, Legacy Marine. No, thank you very much. So Ben, this is a fishing cockpit first and foremost. Yep. What, what are some of the special features about this cockpit? Yes, yeah, so we've tried to keep it real functional, fishing orientated, a nice entertainer's platform. So you've got sinks, barbecues and whatnot, so it just makes it real, a real usable space when you're at anchor or when you're out at sea fishing. Can you show us a little bit about this, this area here, because this is quite remarkable. Yeah, so under here we've got a nice deep basin, stainless steel, hot and cold into there, so it's a good place to wash your lures or, you know, if you're out here cooking, cleaning um, utensils and whatnot, it's good, good for that. And speaking of lures, we've got a bit of lure storage here as well, haven't we? Yeah, there's plenty of storage. We love, we love game fishing, so we've got this big platform here for the store all your lures and tackle in. See, that's just amazing. And so. that, that pulls out and locks in, so when you're out at sea, it's not um, you know, sliding, not in sliding in and out. When you're out in the rough water, and you can just work from there nice and easily. That's fantastic. It pops away. And that's one of three drawers, one is it? Th yeah, there's another two drawers there below and a, and a water blaster pulls out right. on a reel in there and you can pull that right out. It's got a 20 metre lead on it so you can reach right around the front of the boat and it's water it's blast washing the boat. down yeah. and all the rest of it. And, and on the other side we've got the sort of more the entertainment side, is that right? Yeah, so this side we've got a, just an electric hot plate in here, nice big hot plate and, um, and a fridge underneath just to store your 
Now, it seems to me there's quite a bit of refrigeration on this boat. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of cold storage. We've got lots of fridge, freezer drawers inside. Full fridge, freezer in the galley there and a and, and couple of fridges and the ice maker um, under floor here as well. So. Right, right. Well, that's probably another feature we should talk about. I know we've got some really big uh, sort of kill tanks in the, under the floor here, yep. but one of them is special because you've got ice going into it. Yeah, so under here we have a small ice box with a ice maker feeding it, so that'll feed fresh or salt water ice into the bin. And that'll fill in about two hours and automatically turn off for you, so you Fantastic. keep your drinks or your fish cold. Cool. So being outward opening doors, it is a game boat after all. Yeah, it's important to have uh, ease of access out onto the swim platform. And we've tried keeping the um, latching seamless, you don't see it. So you just lift this top lid here, opens up, and latches open just like that. Really clever, really tidy. We've got a very large live bait tank here with twin tuna tubes inside. Nice, nice. rounded corners so the live bait don't get caught in the corner. Lights so as well. Light, yep, lives, light, lights and an aerator as well to keep the, keep the fish alive. How many baits do you think you can keep in there? Oh, upwards of 20 at least, yeah. Right, right, so decent. Paragon is a superbly presented vessel inside and out. Interior styling is by Donna Marie and Di Shaw, who have created a modern yet timeless look that will stand the test of time. It's tasteful and luxurious, but also nicely understated, with a focus on practicality. This is first and foremost a sport fishing vessel, reflected almost as much by the inside as the outside. Good quality engineered wood floorings on the upper decks, wool carpets below, durable upholstery fabrics and hard wearing easy clean surfaces. This is a galley aft layout, the galley boasting top quality Miele appliances and Hymax worktops, an engineered stone, light and weight yet extremely durable. At a comfortable and quiet 26 knots, the synchronised engines were spinning at 2000 rpm. Twin Discs EC300 Quick Shift Control System with two dual lever head stations controls propeller engagement, rotation direction and engine speed. Express Position System or EPS utilises GPS compass to hold the vessel's position and heading by automatically controlling the engine's propellers and thrusters. At trolling speed, 8.5 knots, Paragon sips just 3 litres per nautical mile. So with 9,000 litres of diesel on board, her potential range is impressive. Top speed is 36 knots, and in a seaway, the vessel benefits from a gyro stabiliser. Sleeping accommodation is in four air-conditioned cabins off the atrium-style companionway. There's a spacious bunk room with two berths, a double cabin on the port side, a VIP bow cabin with a queen berth, ample storage, TV and luxurious ensuite bathroom, and the full beam master cabin amidships. The boat is conned from the flybridge, either at the main helm or from the second helm station on the upper deck aft. At 5 metres above the water and with an excellent view of the cockpit and transom, it's the ideal spot when docking the boat or fighting a fish. I noted the lightness of the steering, which is electric over hydraulic and the wheel's adjustable rake. Stid, helm seats are comfortable and supportive and the helm seat is positioned amidship within reach of all of the main controls. With fuel carried in four separate tanks, useful if you want to isolate, say, dirty fuel bought somewhere in the Pacific from clean fuel purchased in New Zealand or Australia, and she has a 3,000 nautical mile range at 8.5 knots. The L70's performance is testament to David de Villiers' yacht design and the Shaw family, who have delivered a new motor yacht that exceeds expectations on so many levels. Sea keeping ability, handling, cruising economy and functionality have been fused to create a motor yacht that inspires confidence and in which no horizon need be out of reach. The word Paragon is defined as a model of excellence or perfection. Legacy Marine's first L70 is the sort of sport fishing Paragon other vessels will be measured against, a brilliant addition to New Zealand's maritime legacy.
John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.